for this kit you will get this lovely bowl of yarn and to work easier with it I'm going to cake it so let's do that and there you go so this is an easier way to work with the yarn while you're punching just pull the tail from the middle and you can now thread your needle. So we'll be working with the new laver punch needle. This is a larger punch needle in size and has a ergonomic handle which makes it much more comfortable to work with especially when you're doing bigger projects like pillows. So this one is also adjustable just twist the handle so that it falls out of the slot. There are seven slots available and for the first area we're going to use the last slot on it. So we're going to push the handle all the way through, just hold it on this end and then twist and turn it until it falls into that slot. We have this nice threader which comes with the needle so we'll push the tip of this through the tip of the needle like that push it all the way in like this and then on the other end you will have this loop that's where you put the yarn in and then you pull it through so it comes out the other end and then you also want to thread the little tip here so you can use your threader for that as well just push it through and push the little tail through the loop and then pull it out. So now your uh, punch needle is ready to go. I'm first going to start with this area. I'm just going to punch the whole piece from this side. Eventually the back will be the front of the pillow. Okay, so I'm starting on the edge here and I'm pushing it all the way in. And uh, make sure that you don't stab anything under here. Move it up, move it over and push it back all the way in as far as I can. Move it over, push it back down and make sure that the handle always touches the fabric. That way all your loops are going to be the same length. And then when I reach the top, I want to go back in this direction. So what I'm doing is I turn my needle while it's inside the cloth. Then I pull it up and I go this direction. And the important thing here is that I'm going to lay bricks. So my stitch goes in at the halfway point of the previous stitch. So I've got some tutorials on how to punch exactly, so if you're a beginner it might be good to check that out. I'm going to finish this entire area and then I'll get back to you. At first I made a row of some tinier stitches, but as I went along I decided I needed much bigger stitches. Even larger than my finger here compared to these. Because these stitches are so long, they take up a lot of space and um, it is going to curl up in the end. It's going to be too dense. These stitches need some space to move. Be sure to just do one or two rows of tinier stitches to make this clear edge. The rest of them should really be bigger stitches. It's easiest to set your frame on a table and on your lap and then just punch it straight so that you don't move your wrist all the time so let me show you and this is especially necessary because the needle is so long right now at this setting that you really have to take that into account. So normally I would even do this with both hands, but I'm holding my camera right now. But it's just to show you, be careful with your wrist, please. 
So guys, I hope you can see it, but it's really dark outside and you can probably hear the rain tickling on my windows as we speak. And what I'm going to do is I wanted to add a bit of a design feature. It's really, really textured and I'm really happy with it. So I'm going to tough these and they're going to look very different. And then I want to have a flat bit here and then some textured color here as well. So let's draw that out. So I finished this piece and now we're going to do these two. So let me look at what is going to be the front of the pillow. So as you can see, we've got a lot of texture going on, a height difference here. I think this looks gorgeous. And now I'm going to stitch these from this side so I get the flat stitch over here. And for that I'm going to use this gorgeous color. Because I drew the pattern on the other side I don't have any lines here to guide me so what I'm going to do is put my ruler in and it will get stuck behind the loops and now I can just draw out this line and that's going to be my guide. I'll keep the punch needle on the same setting, so on the third slot from the left. And I'm going to punch in this direction. I'm going to start by making a straight line following the lines in the fabric, which you can see. So just punch in on this side. I'm going to pull the tail to the other side because that's going to be the back. This side is going to be the one you will see, so you have to be very careful to punch neatly. And I'm also going to do the brick laying method on this side because I think that looks the best. I wanted to show you that on the edge here, of course I drew this line and this is going to be the front of the piece, so you want to cover the line. And because I don't really love how this looks, and you will see it, I'm going to make a line, punch a line like this to cover that up and to make it look neat. Now let's take her off the frame. So first what I'll do is sort out this situation. So I'm going to pull these to the right side. And yes, it's going to be a bit of a process, but what I'm going to do is cut all the loops like this. Okay guys, so now the punching part is done. 
and it's time to do the sewing part but before that i'm going to secure the stitches on the back even though it's not really necessary but a lot of you i get a lot of questions about this all the time are afraid the stitches will come out so maybe to make you feel a little bit better about getting a kit maybe i'm going to add some a fabric which sticks to the stitches you can iron it on and after that I will be sewing the pillow together and as I mentioned in previous videos sewing is not my favorite thing to do and I feel a little bit insecure about it maybe but I'm going to show you how I will make an envelope opening on the back and hopefully it looks good and it's helpful but Maybe if you really want to have it perfect, then you should watch other videos on YouTube. Make sure that everything is ready to go, nothing more to do, and then you can take your iron-on fabric. One side is shiny and the other one is not. And the shiny side we're going to put on top. So I'm ironing on straight onto the fabric and I'm using some steam to add a little bit of moisture and I'm just letting it sit for a bit and then moving on to the next section. I'm not pressing down, I'm only letting the heat do its job. I'm also letting it stick to the monk's cloth because monk's cloth unravels quite easily and this will also prevent that from happening. The heat will also have set the yarn a bit, which is great. You might have to fluff it up a bit, but that's it. And now I'm going to cut around. I will leave about two inches on the side to be on the safe side. For the backing, we're going to do a envelope opening. And for that, I'm using two pieces of linen. So this is one of the edges that's going to be along the opening and of course you do not want to see this reveled end so what I'm going to do is fold it over just a little bit and then fold it over some more like that. And this is about an inch two to three centimeters and I want to pin it down right here because under here you will find the extra fold and then just make sure that this is going to be a straight line So I'm fairly happy with this and I've done the other one as well. So now what I'm going to do is sew up one row right here and right here and then we should be ready to sew the whole pillow together. put this baby together. Lay the pillow with the front facing you, then take one of the backings. This side will be visible, so that side will go towards the front. Cover up about two-thirds of the pillow, and then this side, same thing. 
the rim is going towards me and also put it at about two thirds so this one you will see in the end so make sure it's really straight perpendicular to the pillow on both sides and this one will go over it and then this should be straight as well Pretty happy with how that turned out and that I now have a new pillow in my pillow family. Uh, so I will have the kit available on my Etsy website. Got some lovely colors available so perhaps you would like the ochre to be a cobalt blue or perhaps petrol or maybe you like this color to be the entire pillow and maybe even neutral. You will have options in my Etsy shop and you can choose whatever you prefer. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you can maybe give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these videos. It's really helpful for my channel and I'm almost at 20k. I'm so excited about it. And if you want to help me out, subscribe and I hope to see you for the next video in the Pillow Party series. Bye!